Hey, good morning, guys. What's up? All right, we're here. <laughs> so, the lady's like 83. Uh, she's in a wheelchair. She can't really get around very well. And uh, her husband passed away two years ago. When I was talking to this lady yesterday, she told me that the neighbor, I don't know which neighbor, if it's this guy or this guy, they came over and they, they took care of her front a little bit, she said. Yeah. So they mowed the front because um, it was it was really tall uh, in the front. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it up even more. Uh, I know that I can take this and and make it look a lot better. So uh, like we're gonna be edging it and we're gonna we're gonna do some more weed whacking to try to get some nice nicer edges and whatnot on there, as well as uh, a lot of other stuff too. There's some suckers around a tree. There's bushes that need to be trimmed. You could tell that just a lot of love went into creating this home for them. And so when I, when I noticed that, when I was walking around this property and I noticed that, I knew that I really wanted to be able to do this for them and, and kind of restore this back to uh, where she can look outside. She's in the wheelchair, right? So she doesn't, she doesn't really get out in the yard at all much, but she can look through her windows. And I want her to be able to, when she looks through her windows, that she can maybe have a you know, reminisce about the past and allow her to remember those good memories that she had with her husband um, in this property. And I know that she probably does anyways, but I want to amplify that if possible and just help her to be able to enjoy her property and not have to worry about her property so much. And I know that in the future there's going to be maintenance that's going to be needed. Um, so I don't know what her plans are for that, but, or, or if we can help with that, I don't know, but, uh, but we're going to try to get it back up to maintenance level. I'm really excited about this property to help her out. So come along with me, sit back, chill, get some popcorn or something. Cause it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be good. So the lady that lives here, she can see her, her head is about this high up because she's in a wheelchair. Um, so, well, this high up like in her house. So her viewpoints are right about here. And as she, and she wants to be able to see her neighbor across the street, so her, her caretaker as well. So this one right here is blocking her view and it's not gonna be missed with everything else that's already here. So we're just gonna take this one out so she has a nice, it's gonna be a lot better. We're gonna clean up maybe a couple more little spots, but um, it's mainly this one we're gonna take out right here.
perfect. <laughs> She's gonna love it.
I almost pulled a Ferdinand. <sighs> Remember who Ferdinand was? He was that bull from that book. Well, put my head right on the bumblebee. And he got pissed and he buzzed and he flew around me and he flew off. <laughs> If you were a bumblebee and a lawn care provider put their head on you, what would you do? That's right, you would sting him. But that's not what this bee did to John.